Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 111 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, uh, where I'm currently watching my buddy Jax finish off my town hall. How cool is that? The town hall is about complete. If we come over here and check out the required resources, you'll see he's pretty much done. He just placed in a few torches for me to keep things well lit. I have an extra torch that I want to place down, which we'll take care of in a moment. Maybe I'll just put you, like, right up here, right in the middle. I think that's a good idea. Well, I guess it's not perfect looking, but it'll get the job done. Go, Jax, go! I don't know what he's placing at the moment, but he's finishing. Uh, so today's going to be another Mine Colonies episode. We're going to take a look at doing a couple things. Um, one thing I'd really like to do is probably build a second builder's hut. I'd like to have two builders, because builders take a bit to build things, and I would like to double the speed at which we build things. So to do that, we can have a second builder, and then we'll build things twice as fast. Seems pretty smart to be, right? Um, so remember last episode we made a builder's hut just to validate our placements. Um, what I'm thinking is, so, so the way this builder's hut is laid out is he's kind of facing this direction. Maybe I'll place another one kind of the same direction, uh, and make it look cool. Does that sound like a plan? I hope so, because that's pretty much what we're going to do. So builder, uh, was Asian the style that we went with? I think so, right? Yeah, it definitely was. So what I like to do, uh, now is fly out and then I can rearrange things and kind of get a feel for, you know, what they're going to look like. So keeping these guys right next to each other might be a good idea. A, it's going to kind of expand our village a little bit. And B, it's going to let us see where things are. That's cool, right? I think so. Neato. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You know, it's funny because when I built it, I thought that that was the main entrance right there. But I wasn't paying attention to, like, the level 5 build. So... In hindsight, I probably should have reversed these guys and rotated them, but they're fine the way they are. It's not a big deal. Cool. So we're going to build it, and then what we'll do is we'll try to build some paths along here. All right. so step one for the Builder's Hut, uh, we are going to manage workers, and we're going to assign somebody with some good adaptability and athletics like Violetta. You're hired. Cool. Get on, get to work. Build options, begin building. All right, so Violet is going to come visit. Uh, we're going to, you know, check out the required resources real quick. I guess they won't show up until uh, Violet appears. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. So is this thing done? He's still... Oh, he's placing his torches now. All right, good job, buddy. Did you get rid of my mega torch? You little bugger. How rude is that? Where's my mega torch? Where did it go? Did you pick it up? I mean, I could just make a new one. I'm just... He's got to have it somewhere. I know, you haven't been able to sleep. Well, you know, we're building a village here. I guess I should wait until he's done finishing, you know, placing the building before I do the mega torch thing. Step three of six. I don't know what that means, but he's doing something. I have no idea what he's doing, if I'm being honest. I uh, no sleeping. I know. I'll work on it. Well, I have to get them a tavern. So I'm going to have this builder, uh, who's probably now registered and ready for resources. No, not quite yet. I'll get to build it again? Uh, let's give her some stone shovels. Right? So that she can at least start digging stuff out. And I know we're going to need a bunch of oaky stuff. Right? Uh, we're probably going to also, you know what, while we're at it, let's get some stairs and some slabs. Hooray! I think the thing's done. That's cool. Finish building town hall. Nice. All right, so you can get some resources. And I remember you needing cobblestone, right? A bunch of cobble. That ought to be cool. Okay. All right, let's go. Violetta. Build it again? 
Would you like to perhaps get to work? I'm just suggesting that would be a nice thing to do. I'm assuming she will at some point. Let's look at getting the tavern up and running because people want to sleep. That's what's, what's, what's what we're going to let them do. Okay. So let's get our build tool. Uh, I'm thinking the tavern, we could just maybe have like right across from the town hall. Does that sound cool? So like we'll have our, our, our builder's huts here. I'm thinking, I remember I want my courier to not be too far away from the builder's huts. So maybe that could be kind of like right across from it and maybe the warehouse as well. So like the warehouse and the courier can be in this area. Um, maybe the tavern, maybe right across. Does that sound like a neat plan? I like that. We suggest using the build tool to place the schematic. This will allow you to adjust the position anyway. Oh, okay, cool. Um, decorations, tavern. That's what we want. Okay, sweet. Uh, now let's check out what level five is gonna look like. Well, I guess level three is as high as we go. That's interesting. I thought all buildings went to five, but let's, yeah, that's that's gotta be the entrance, right? To the tavern? Is this what the tavern looks like? All right, neato. That's cool. That's not bad. But let's just position it so that A, it's more centered with the town hall and B, not like right on top of it. Right? Not right on top of it. But I want it to be centered. Uh, cause you know me, we'll both, we'll both be annoyed if it's not centered, right? Is it, is it maybe this guy who's trying to build the town hall? Is that what's going on? No, he's not. He doesn't have any work orders either. All right, let's go back to this. Does that look nicely centered? Um, if we were to build out from this part. I, I don't even know if you can center it because I didn't check the size, but yeah, no, actually that looks really, that looks perfect. Yeah, does that look good? All right, let's do it. Check. Oh, thanks, Violetta. I knew you would eventually. I knew you would get to that. Let's check out the inventory or the required resources. Um, so she's getting good under. She needs a crafting table, furnace, fence, and fence gate, and then more stairs. All right, so we can make this happen, right? Cool. So a few more stairs, fence, fence gate. Okay. Not good enough. Crafting table, furnace, rack, and torch. Crafting table, furnace, rack from mine colonies. Okay. And now if we check that out, everything you need, right? Beautiful. And I'm going to help out with uh, the digging a little bit because I know you're going to be slow. And a little bit of help, you know, I'm a benevolent mayor. Am I the mayor? I don't even know if I'm the mayor. I'll call myself the mayor. Look, I'm getting down and dirty, hoping to get our town built. There you go, Violetta. I helped. Nice. All right, so now while she builds that, presumably my other guy can start working on uh, this. Build options and begin building. Looks like we're going to need a campfire, among a few other things. So at this point, we just need to wait for this dude to recognize the build request and decide to come over. Now, what do you guys look all red exclamation-y point about? What's the matter? I'll get to build it again. Please build a restaurant or get me something to eat. I will work on it. Oh, yeah, I guess you guys are hungry, huh? Uh, if I got food, like steak or 
What if I just got you guys some cooked meat? Is there an inventory in the town hall that if I put this in, would you guys eat it? You think that's a thing they would do? And I could just manually give them food, I think. But I'm curious if they would grab it out of the town hall. Because I know you have an inventory. If I did that. Oh, okay, yeah, now that makes her happy. Your gold. All right, there you go. All right, other buddy has started working. He's probably worked up a little bit of an appetite, right? Bet he's hungry. How about you, Violetta? I'm working on it. There you go. Okay. Sweet. All right, tavern work has begun. And as a result of it having begun, we can now look at what we're missing required resource-wise. So campfire, some cobblestone slabs, and some cobblestone walls. Okay. Cobblestone slabs. Cobblestone walls. Sweet. All right, what else we need? Laying barrel one, oak slab, standing barrel one, and four white beds. All right. Barrel from, oh. Uh, standing barrel and laying barrel? That was easy. That looks easy. Your gold. It is my gold. Care of it. Okay, and last we will need oak slabs, more of them. Look like about two stacks is what we needed. All right, that should be all the required resources now. Cool, so Buddy's gonna get to work. Making the tavern. And then our people will have a place to sleep. And then let's not forget to replace our mega torch. Now that the building's done being built, we should be cool. Now here's my concern. I'm gonna forget that the mega torch is there when I go to upgrade this building. So maybe I should put the mega torch somewhere that's not in the building. Why don't I just plop it, you know? What I'll do is I'll I'll put it underground, but I'll mark it with a stone brick so we remember where it is. That seems cool to me. All right. So let's come back in a minute once Jax is done digging out for the tavern. Hey, good news. Builder's hut number two is complete. Hooray! That's cool. That was very nice. Ah, she finished that really fast, actually. Uh, and then uh, the tavern's still being worked on. Uh, I'm probably going to pass the night one more time just to ensure that uh, the tavern gets finished. And then I will let my four villagers sleep on the next night. Well, hey, look at that. The tavern is up and running. The tavern is up and running. Wow, that tavern is a little bit tiny. <laughs> the level one tavern is a little bit tiny. Whew. Okay, cool. Works for me. All right, now everybody wants to sleep. This I know. Um, so there's a couple things that we should do probably at this point. Um, we should consider probably... I know we're probably going to want a courier. Resource production sounds like a good idea, but I'll supply them resources for now because not like I'm hurting on resources. Uh, I think I can with, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure I can, I think, decorations, big well, dig fill. Isn't there like a path or something? I thought there was a path. Didn't there used to be a pathway? Am I crazy? Uh, decorations. Oh, there we go. Bath. Ah, yeah, hey, oh, there we go. Okay, cool. There we go. These are all the things. Fences, graves. Oh my goodness! Look at all these things. 
This is cool. Nether gate, pagoda fountain, panels. Look at all this stuff. There's like a lot of stuff here. Wow, that's a that's a big whatever that is. Uh, a bathhouse. Okay, cool. Yeah, look, there's like little things you can get, like fancy plugs, I guess, like fences, all kinds of stuff. Gates. Look at all that. Look at that awesome looking gate. Look at how cool that is. We could have like a gate coming into our into our colony. Fences, so you can like build fences up to kind of surround it. Look at this. I know there's like paths and stuff. More wall panels, that's cool. And they're meant to be like, you know, built in sequence kind of deal. More gates, tiny parks. There's a lot of stuff here. I thought there was a path though. I thought there was a path. There's fields. There's a, this feels like a lot more than there used to be. Rails. Roads. Hey, there we go. Look at covered bridges. There's a lot of stuff. Holy cow, is there a lot of stuff. That's neat. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. I just want like a path though. Isn't there, wasn't there just a path? Didn't there used to be just a path? I mean, I could build one manually, don't get me wrong. I just thought there used to be like a path because I think the villagers will follow the paths as they walk if you, if you build them right. But maybe I'm crazy? Maybe? See, that's the, the Akashia Road. Okay. It's fancy. Ooh, I like that. Fancy corner even. Fancy corner odd. Ooh, fancy intersection. Oh, that's awesome. They give you an even and odd number of spacing off. That's so great. Isn't that cool? Isn't that super the best? It really kind of is. That's cool. Roads nice. They look pretty similar to fancy. Roads poor. <laughs> Just made out of gravel. Roads simple. I like that. Also made out of uh, gravel for the most part. Simple lampposts. I mean, I kind of like the idea of the fancy ones. Roads space wars. Oh, that's if you want to do. Yeah, that's cool. Roads true dwarven. Oh my goodness. Nice. Yeah, let's do some fancy roads. I feel like. Hmm. Fancy path. But we would want it to be fancy path odd, right? Yeah, something like that is probably what we're looking at wanting to do. Okay. Now if I... Oh, there's a light under them. Okay, I see. Interesting. Okay. All colonists are tucked into bed. Excellent. You know what that means? I think I'm allowed to sleep now. 
Once you get that message, you're allowed to go to sleep. And it will pass the night without them complaining about not getting any sleep. So they should all be awake now and no longer fussing about their lack of sleep. Although this person looks sad. Why are you sad out here? Oh, hi there. Get to build it again? <laughs> Live long and prosper. That's cool. Oh, so we can, this is one of the people we can recruit. We can see their stats. See, remember I told you people could move in? We can recruit them. Uh, if I had some books, which I probably do. I'll get to build it again. Um, what stats do they have? They have decent-ish, I guess, stats. They have high intelligence. I serve with can I recruit? Uh, we don't have enough house. So that's the problem. We need to build houses now. There are no guard or barracks. I will work on it. I'll work on the guard of barracks. Oh, look, here's another person. Show stats. So this one has high strength and agility and adaptability and intelligence. This is a really good stat person. Sweet. Having a job would be really great. I bet it would. I bet it would, sir. I'll take care of it. You're hungry? Let me see your inventory. I hope. Are you also hungry? I hope. Yeah, you could use more food, I think. I get to build it again. How are you doing on food? Well, you could probably use a little bit more too. I hope. I serve with pleasure. I okay. Serve want to make sure everybody has enough food to eat. Uh, do we want this? this road here to be built? I guess so. I kind of want the roads. My only concern is like, what happens when the roads are not, um, like if I want them longer or shorter, can I extend them? I don't think so, right? I think it's just a matter of making multiples. Doesn't look too bad. Stone bricks, chiseled stone bricks, and glowstone is what we're gonna need. See who decides to go work on that road. I just want to try placing the road. So whoever decides to pick that up, cool. Uh, what should we do next for buildings? Let me look. All right. Well, it's easy enough to build. I think the slowest part for him will be digging, but that's okay. It'll be fine. I also want to level up these huts. But let's see. Where should we? What should we build next? We we want to probably get these people food, so I don't have to keep supplying that manually. Um, so there's a few options we have. We could do a fisher's hut, which uh, needs to have uh, needs to be supplied with fishing rods, I remember, and also has to be near a body of water. There's not really a body of water here, but that doesn't mean we can't make one. Uh, so that would be an option, right? Fisher's Hut. Um, and we would probably want a restaurant as well. Option two would be a farm. Um, or an animal herder. So there is a shepherd's hut, a swine herd's hut, uh, I serve with there's a cow hands hut, right? So those different animal herders, uh, but fishing is the fastest it says. So fishing might be cool. Fisher's hut? That works for me. And I know we're going to want fishing rods. Okay. Maybe I'll stick the Fisher's Hut, like, over here in, like, roughly in the corner. Fisherman. Let's make sure we know what it's going to look like at max level. Because, again, you want to make sure that, you know, things make sense. Um, what I'll do is probably push it back a little bit. And I think it's okay if the, if the Fisher, like, leaves the village, like, goes outside this boundary in order to, to build. I might be wrong, or to fish, I might be wrong, but maybe. So we'll do that. That'll be the fisher's hut, and then I'll place a water source nearby for the fishermen to go fish at. Does that seem cool? Uh, what I'll do is I'll dig out a little area here, probably with my mining gadget, because that'll be a little faster. But let's put it on precision mode. I don't know what size water they need, but I'm going to do... Well, I meant for that to be this. Let's do like a 9x9. Nine nine. <laughs> and don't forget, I have a water spell. Do 
Do, 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 do. Hooray! That's cool. All right. So there's your fisherman's hut. Now let's also do a restaurant. And I'm going to place the restaurant right near the fisherman's hut so that we're good to go on that, right? So here's our cook. Let's make sure we understand where the entrance is going to be. Because I kind of want this to be aligned in an intelligible way. I'm assuming this is the entrance, right? This looks like where people go to sit and like... That's pretty nice looking, actually. That's super cool. Though that is the door, but is that where like... Is that like the back door or the front door? A little hard to figure out. Where do you think like the entrance is? Where's the front, quote unquote? Because those are the doors. This could be the front. You could call this the front, I'm sure. I would say this is like the back. This is where you go in to make the food, right? And then you serve, like you cook in here, right? Because that's where all the, the furnaces are. And then these are the tables out front that people can sit at and eat, right? And then eventually once we get to level five, it gets like super fancy. Look at that. Look how cool that is. I love it. I really like the design of these buildings. Ding. So I think this mod speaks to me as somebody who can't build. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I like this mod because it makes the buildings look pretty for me. I don't need to make pretty buildings. I have the mod make the pretty buildings for me. How cool is that? All right, let's get the Fisher's Hut build going. We'll make a request. Uh, build options, build building. There is no builder close enough to work on this building. Assign a builder manually in the build screen or build it closer to existing builders. Now I can do that. So in the build options screen, we just choose a builder. So I'll be like, hey, Jax, I want you to work on this. And then the same for this guy. If, um, if it's too far away, you just assign who builds it and then boom. Cool. Now Jax may or may not be done working on this. He looks pretty done though, doesn't he? Are you done working on that thing? Oh no, he's just got the Fisher's Hut going on. So I think he's coming over here. He's probably going to drop off the stuff he has and he's going to begin working on the Fisher's Hut. So let's see what he needs. A barrel, some cobble stairs, oak log, oak stairs. Easy enough. Okay. Oak log. Cobble stairs. And some barrels, and hopefully that's cool beans, right? Barred resources, happy camper. All right. And then we're just waiting on Violetta, who started work on the restaurant. Let's see what resources she may need. Uh, she needs some cobblestone and stairs and walls and an oak planks panel. So cobblestone stairs and wall oak planks panel crafted with the architect's cutter oh that's new okay Let's put this stuff in her inventory so she gets everything she probably needs for a minute. And then if we check the required resources, just eight oak planks panel. I guess I just put the oak planks in here and then eight oak planks panel. Is that all there is to it? Seems like it. Easy enough, right? You happy? You are happy. Okay, well, that was simple. Oh, wow, you don't... Oh, you have an axe. You want to be broken with an axe? I mean, if you insist. Don't I have an axe somewhere? Or I could just do this. Haha! <laughs> Take that. I do like the path. Like, I gotta build more of those around town. Look, everybody's getting ready to sleep. That's pretty nice. So if I wanted another path, would you, by chance, remember... 
which one I did. So we did paths fancy, right? And we did fancy path odd. So here's my question. If I overlapped you, would that be cool or not cool? Because you should, in theory, like we could do that, right? Um, my concern being that I'd really like a path to go along here, right? So would it be a problem if I overlapped you? Um, and realistically, I might want an intersection that's odd because you're going to eventually so like number one I'd like that right that is a fancy intersection I will give you that much but if I went this way then they're not too well centered here though I could move my tavern if I needed to but I don't really want to. If I do it this way, that path is actually a little bit off too. I should move it more centered here. Though I could manually just fill in those two brick spots and I don't think that would be a big deal, right? I think that would be fine. That could be cool. Yeah, that works for me. And then once it's in place, I'll manually put in a couple stone bricks. That, that's, that works, right? Uh, now, is everybody tucked into bed? They are. Good. So that means I can sleep and then get them back to work. <laughs> cool. All right, everybody wake up, back to work. As long as you get that message, all colonists are tucked into bed, you're good to go to sleep through the night, and they won't complain about having not slept through the night. Yeah, I'll work on getting you a job. Well, we just built a fisher and a restaurant, so like we're going to have some jobs pretty soon. Don't worry, folks. So I think that's a good wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, let's wrap up here. We'll come back next time. Uh, what I want to build next are houses. I want some houses for our villagers to live in. I want to upgrade my builders. I might even make a third builder. We'll see. But before I do that, I really need more houses so that more villagers can move in uh, so that I can have, you know, more stuff going on. And then at some point, like I said, we'll probably want a courier and a warehouse. Uh, and then we'll expand the village from there. I know we're going to want some um, barracks to make our villagers happy because they keep complaining that they don't have any safety they're like oh i need some safety calm down folks you got direwolf he's literally flying around in glowing armor and shooting things with an op bow you'll be fine but that's what they want so we'll do what we can for now double 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode let me know what you're thinking about mine colonies it's super fun um it's very much a different play style uh but it's a really fun mod to play with so me personally i like it hope you are too all right for now take it easy